Sorry, my camera's all Floof deciding she wants to talk to the birds. Floof! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where you can usually find me making over some part of my 400 square foot apartment. Today we're gonna to be doing something I really love to do and that's to take a look at Kickstarter. It's a really cool website where you can find inventors that are putting up their home gadgetry or really any gadgetry, but I lean to the home side. And today I'm bringing you something that is so weird that I just couldn't help but talk about it. And it's called a phone toaster, which I think really establishes why I'm sharing it with you. It is super weird looking. It looks like a toaster. Here it is. And it claims to be a disinfectant, which is great because it is 2020 and we just love sanitization in 2020. So I'm really excited to share this project with you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of interested in it. So let's take a peek at the Kickstarter video. Nah, we aren't actually toasting phones. Phone Toaster is a five-in-one device for your home or office that cares about you. Well, that's good. I'm glad we've established it is not a toaster for your phone. Obviously, logically, it wasn't gonna toast your phone, but um, you're really alluding to it with both name and physique, so that's good that you start that right off the bat. That's not what it is. And simply adores your phone. And in a few weeks, it could be yours. Ooh, all right, let's go back. I wanna see. Okay, it says, says five in one UVC sanitization. I don't know if that's a superior form of sanitization. I should ask my mom on that. I'm sure she knows the answer. Uh, I have a Bluetooth speaker here, a fast wireless charger, a fast USB charger, and alarm clock. I mean, that's really cool. Who doesn't want to do all of those things before you go to bed? Just like a nightly routine. You moisturize your hands, you charge your phone, and then you also give it a little zap to kill all the you know, viruses and stuff like that. So that, that sounds great. I'm already interested, I'm into it. Jim's home is just like yours, cluttered with devices and gadgets. And just like you, the one time he really, really needs a charge, that one darn cable's nowhere to be seen. And Jane, she's just like any concerned mom. I kind of dig that girl's uh, keyboard. If anyone knows what that keyboard is called, it's like rounded and all like the shapes around it. I'm planning to eventually get a monitor so I can edit on there. And I'm like, how many that keyboard? Oh, kind of cool. I mean, that's an aside, but if you guys know what that keyboard is. She's worried her phone could be a health threat, harboring serious nasties. Jim and Jane, they're just like you or me. We spend the last moments of the day staring at our screens instead of each other. We created the phone toaster for Jim, Jane, and for you. It fits perfectly on your dresser, kitchen counter, dining table, and in the office. Sanitize and charge your phone while you're taking a nap. Or playing with Junior. That's so cool! I, I don't care what it is, but if you put a device into another device and it takes it in slowly, do you guys remember when we had the DVD players and you like put a DVD in? I was always fascinated and how it like sucked it in. It just felt like the future. And even still, even though those aren't really relevant now, the machine just like absorbing your phone to me is a little bit mesmerizing. And also I trust that it's high tech. I don't know if that's real life or if that's just me just assuming that a robot hand pulling something in is good, but I trust it. I like that. I will say, however, Throughout all of this, I've noticed that no one has had a case on their phone. And I am someone who absolutely necessitates a case. And I don't know if you need to take off your case in order to do all of these things to your phone. That might be the case because in order to sanitize it fully, you might need to take that off. And in order to wirelessly charge, that might need it as well. So it could get a little bit annoying unless it's like right before bed, in which case it makes more sense to me. But at the office, I don't know if I would take my case off, I don't know. Or playing with Junior. The UVC sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of harmful bacteria in less than five minutes while you're having coffee or family time. Phone Toaster also features high quality Bluetooth speaker, 
a Qi wireless charger, USB charger, and alarm clock. Five features, one device. See, all of those features are very cool. The fact that you can do a Bluetooth speaker in it too, and it almost looks like a radio and an alarm clock, I kind of see what they're doing with the style now. Like I'm looking at the face of it and it has like a little clock in the corner and then the side things that make it look like an old style radio, which I kind of like, that's really cool. Is a clean phone really a big deal? Well, your phone could be up to- hey, Dude, you didn't have a case on it. Ah, if you got it in the wrong corner, it could, you know, break and stuff. It always gives me anxiety. Put a case on your fancy equipment, guys. I mean, if you spend over a couple hundred dollars on something, just keep it safe, you know? 10 times more contaminated than a toilet seat. Yuck. Germs in the environment get transferred to your hands, your phone, and onto your face. Jane lives a fabulous life. I mean, first of all, her husband and her child are both adorable, but also like that pink staircase. I know this is not relevant at all to the device, but I respect Jane. They chose the right woman because like, I, I trust that she knows what's the coolest and most up-to-date things. And unlike your hands, your phone rarely gets washed. We created Pont of Talk for Jim and Jane and for you. Oh, he's precious. Hong oh, Julie. I don't, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. That accent, it's just, I don't know if it's Korean or not, but it's, it's so cute and endearing. I like this product even more. It's compact, multifunctional, and looks great in any modern home or workplace. Fully certified, it helps you adopt smartphone hygiene as a daily habit with absolutely no fuss. It encourages better bedtime habits by removing the temptation of your phone or, well, other temptations. I wouldn't even thought about that. That's actually really clever. If you have your phone in this like sanitizing box, it's not gonna be in front of your face. So they say that if you don't look at your phone that much, like right before you go to bed, you have a better sleep. So maybe that's also some, a benefit of the product. We're extremely close to bringing phone toaster to the world. The name is so ridiculous though. I mean, it looks like it. Honestly though, I don't know if it's a good idea to like have this machine if you have children. I'm assuming it would lead them to believe that all toasters are sanitization agents. So I don't know if you should have this if you have kids, especially because Jane and I think his name is Jim have a small child. Maybe I would make this more of a radio and make it feel like you were putting your phone into like almost like a CD player or something. That way, I don't know, it makes more sense in our heads. <laughs> Not throwing your phone in this hot object that will surely burn your house down, but you know, I'm not a designer. But it won't happen without your support. If you want to bring Phone Toaster into your life or a loved one's, we'd be thrilled if you'd back our campaign today. I kind of like the music show. I feel like, I don't know, it's like cool music. Like all the cool kids have Phone Toasters. I don't know what I'm saying on this channel either. I'm sorry. <laughs> In any case, I think this product is super cool, to be honest. I really love all the features of it. I actually really like the aesthetic of it in terms of it looks like kind of mid-sensory modern, and it has that front that looks almost like a old tiny radio. I wish that they had marketed it more as that, like instead of going so hard on phone toaster, just, I just think it makes more sense. I am curious of whether or not I can charge with your case on it or sanitize with your case on it. Otherwise, this would be kind of a go to bed type of thing. Cause when you have your phone away, you're not, it would be really hard to bring to the office and stay busy, you know? Cause you're using your phone for everything to answer emails and do all that. But it doesn't really explain what is on the face and I kind of wish that they did. I also wish that they explained how it works because there's so many claims of sanitization. I mean, this is something that we really want right now. What are the studies to show that it takes away those germs? Because that's probably the main selling point for most people right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is actually pretty cool. So it says, 
Phone Toaster uses a custom configuration of five LEDs inside a touchless lightproof enclosure to deliver germ and bacteria destroying UVC light to your phone's entire surface, regardless of the maker model. There's no need to flip your phone. In contrast, the majority of the competitors are only able to sanitize part of the phone at any one time. And with Phone Toaster, you can always be rest assured your phone will be evenly toasted. That's super adorable and it kind of explains, I don't know what UVC light is, so I'm gonna look that up. UVC light, okay. Guys, it looks legitimate. I, this is from like a quick cursory, <laughs> just look into it. And it looks like UVC disinfection is actually a thing, which is pretty cool. And it does say that it is good for our current situation. I don't want to say the words out loud because YouTube probably won't like that. So it does look like it's, it kills what we want it to kill if you want to think. So that's awesome. Oh, it says, hey, aren't UVC rays harmful? And yes, they are, which is why we painstakingly designed foam toaster to be perfectly safe. The unique lightproof seal prevents harmful UVC from escaping from the internal sanitizing and charging chamber. And its UVC lights only operate when the device is completely closed. Okay, so apparently it's not good for us, which I don't know if I'd want to put that by my bed then. I mean, it says that it's securely closed, but since it seems to be a new technology, I don't know. I don't know, does what the light escapes? Wow. Okay, so here are the price points. I am totally interested in this. It's $84 for the early bird, and it is 30% off the retail price, and it will be in the future. Oh, no, standard is $94. Wow, this is really cool. I'm legitimately interested in this. This is the first product that was I think it's because it's under $100, <laughs> but also it's super relevant and it does look so cute. Hmm, it's very cute. And the team looks very sweet. Guys, I'm gonna show you this picture. They all look precious. This whole team, I just like. Oh, it's in South Korea, cool, I thought so. Wow, and it seems they've done a couple of other cool projects. I also have to say, I really love multitasking gadgetry because I do live in a small space and having something that does more than one thing is great for me. And having something like right by my bed, as long, I, I'm gonna look into the safety of the UVC. Let's look it up. I really wanna buy this. Okay, so I am looking at UVC lights are not great. I wonder, it looks like it has to be direct exposure. So I'm gonna probably do more research on whether or not this is safe. Guys, I think this is a really cool product. I would take a look at UVC lights and how it can affect you because apparently it's no bueno if it is in direct contact. However, they do say that it is trapped within this machine so that the light will not come and get you. <laughs> In any case, I really loved doing this. I thought it was really fun. It was really cool to see a product that I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna do some research, but I think I'm interested in getting the early bird version of this. So if you like these types of videos, if you like seeing new home gadgetry, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, bye.